Hello, on today's video I will show you how to create a game manager with a singleton pattern and how to calculate our distance traveled and how to add money to our money bank. So I will show you how it works. So as when I fly our rocket, as you can see here, we are flying and when the rocket stops flying, when all the speed is lost, we are uh, the game is paused, the distance is calculated and the money are multiplied and added to our bank. So let's start working. First what I want to do is to create game manager class. So let's create C sharp script and let's call it game manager. It will be um, to create that we'll use a singleton pattern. So I will explain you in a moment. Mm. First, let's create public static game manager instance. This is our singleton. So, what singleton does, uh, what a singleton class is that when our mm, when we switch our scenes uh, between our scenes, uh, that class will not be destroyed, and we can call call that class the function by that name instance. We can call all the function used in Game Manager without creating any additional references inside our classes. And what is also nice when we, for example, create money that will be stored during the, our gameplay. So if we change scenes, when we restart, or anything like that still our money will be kept in memory of our game so that's what's the advantages and why we want to use the singleton pattern so let's write get and private set so this class can only be changed by its own functions okay and as i said we want variable money and here we will store our money. So let's finalize creating our singleton. Uh, what we want to do is to, on awake, to check if our class was not already instantiated. So what does it mean? Uh, we want to be, what we want to do is to be sure that we do not create game manager that we don't have two instances of game manager inside our game so to do that we need to write if instance is equal to null so there is no game manager crea created there is no other game manager created than this what this one which we are uh, which we which we are referencing from the script so this this way we'll be sure that here if there is no instance uh, if instance is null so we didn't assign any game in a rotary instance so instant will be equal to this so to our we we'll just create instance refers to our own game manager class and what we want to do also is to do not don't destroy on load that means when our uh, when our scene is loaded or game is loaded or game is or scene is started and etc. This means that this game object with this class will not be destroyed. And but if we accidentally created or there was created instance of this class without our knowledge so we don't want to create it again so here on else if instance is different than null so it means that somewhere in our game the instance of our class is existing so that means that we will destroy this game object so we will destroy our or sorry so we will destroy our class which we want to create right now Okay, so I hope it's clear for everybody. And as I said, we want to have two functions for now. 
on this level of our game, on this stage of our game creation tutorial. Uh, want to, for now we want to add two classes here. First will be public. Money. We want to be to able. We want to be able to change our money value. Load money to add. And let's let's write money plus equal. Money to add. Mm. Money to add. Okay, and float and money is float. So why would you to have an error here? That's strange. Money to add. Ah oh, yeah, underscore here was missing. Okay. Um, well, and another one, it will be to pause our game. Because as you just saw in the preview of this episode, we want to pause our game when the fuel is... Uh, we used all the fuel. So let's create pause game. Pause game function. So here what we want to do to pause our game, we just need to be able. To, we just need to change the time, the time scale, of our game to be zero. Normally, uh, the time scale of our game is equal to one. So this is the one. Is the one? Here is normal flow of our game. Zero is game paused. And for example, if we say if we write two here, it will be like our game will be. Two times faster. Okay, and what we want to do is to have um, bool game post variable. Let's make it public to be able to access it. Let's write with big letters. Okay. And here on the start of our game manager, let's call it false. And here, let's go. Let's change game post to be true. And you post game. Okay. So for now, what we want to do. Uh, to go to a rocket controller. Maybe one more thing. Uh, we would like to update text with our money value. So let's write, let's create a function for our game. So let's try using text mesh pro. This will allow us to use text mesh pro objects so and here let's write let's write um, yeah public text mesh pro GUI and write money text this will be reference for our Money text. Okay, we will create that game object in a moment. Mm -hmm. So here, let's write money text. The text is equal to money. Mm -hmm. Money, 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 yeah, money, 
not too string. And let's add to it plus dollar sign. Okay, and let's create here when we go to our canvas, and we have our top panel, and here we have our text. Let's change rename it to the um, distance text. Let's let's change its position. Yeah, to be from the top to be zero, and from the bottom to be one hundred, and let's duplicate it, and let's change here the duplicate object from top one hundred and zero from the bottom, and let's rename this one to be oh sorry not this one this one to be renamed to the to be money. Money text and let's write here zero dollars. Okay, perfect. And let's create empty game object. Let's rename it to game manager and let's add our script of game manager to our game object. Let's move it to the top and let's reset its position. Okay, and let's just create reference to our money text. Here, by dragging that money text to our money text variable. Okay, so that's most of what we will create for our singleton. Now, to use our singleton, we need to go to our. <coughs> we want to use our singleton inside our rocket controller. So let's go to our rocket controller script. Here, uh, what we will create now, uh, because we want to calculate the distance we travel, and from the distance we, depending on how far we've traveled, we want to add money to our um, money inside game manager. So to do that, let's now create. First, we need to calculate the distance we have traveled. So let's create float mm, start position it will be start position uh, of our rocket from which we are start to fly. Mm, let's create float distance traveled because we want to be updating this distance during flight. Let's create distance traveled variable. Let's write it's equal to zero. Mm. And let's create let's create reference for our text, of course. So let's again write using text mesh pro. And let's here create a reference. Let's write public text mesh pro UI and let's write this the distance tra world text. Okay, so now we want to create a function called distance traveled. Mm. So let's write public void distance tra distance traveled okay maybe let's move it below the fixed update here and let's write here Let's create function update and inside update we'll call our distance travel.
okay and now our let's write we want to know the current distance we have traveled so to calculate that we will need to write current distance is equal to this so it's equal to our transform position dot y so this is the transform position so if we like where's my rocket now our rocket position is minus two if you would like fly our rocket position will change as you can see here so here it will be one and here then we will see one meter because of that okay so mm, so minus first star plus why are we doing it today like? because as i said here that minus two now if we would like our current distance traveled would be equal to transfer position it would be saying that we are minus two but so all the time like yeah let's assume it's minus two here all the time we would be if you would like travel 10 meters so it would be showing eight meters here so that's why we're using that start position so it will be difference between start position and our current position so for example if we here will be one now so this this will say we have traveled three meters not only one as you can see here okay okay i hope it's clear but we don't want to show that we have traveled zero meters on the start so to be sure that it's not showing our our value is not showing uh, zero so maybe let's write first first let's write distance travel text dot text is equal to current distance traveled dot to string plus and as before let's say uh, this time let's show it's in meters mm -hmm. okay and um, one thing because as you can see here our value is uh, dot point yeah it's three places after decimal here so I don't want to show all the three places I just want to show one place behind this decimal in the in the game view so let's write f1 that means that only one decimal will be shown on our score okay and because we as i said before we don't want to show the result below zero so let's write if current distance traveled is less than zero then we can say we want to have we want to show current distance traveled equal to zero okay uh, okay that's good and um, let's change maybe this one not the distance traveled but the longest longest because I want to keep it for our high scores, so let's let's call it longest distance traveled. Uh, so this variable, if our current distance, I just want to update that variable. So if our current distance traveled would be higher than our longest distance traveled, let's write that longest distance traveled is equal to our current distance traveled and on the start let's write our longest distance traveled is zero mm, 
yeah, on the start post because now our start post is empty. The start post. Let's write this. So this will be starting positions of a rocket. Tra not Y. Okay. Mm, so now we are calculating our distance correctly. And what we want to do when we are updating our distance traveled, we, as you have seen in the preview of the episode, we want to stop our rocket and add our money to our money bank. So, what we'll do now is to create a function which will check our uh, game state, which will be uh, yeah, if we want to check if we have if we still have fuel, so if current fuel is less than zero, less or equal zero, and let's try it very and yeah, and our rigid body to the that velocity that y is less or equal to zero. Uh, zero, then we want to pause our game. So, game manager dot instance dot pause game. Yeah, and that's how we call our pause game method. Uh, and what we want to do more is to add money on our game manager. So instance that add money and the value value to add money it will be our longest distance traveled. So that's how much money we'll add in our game. Uh, so now we can test how this everything works. Mm, but before the test, let's add. Here we should, yeah, distance traveled. We haven't add distance traveled reference to the text. Okay, so let's test our game now. Okay, uh, okay, it's yeah, as you can see here, here we have zero meters, zero dollars, and let's press play. So now I'm playing. Ah, I have a lot of fuel, so let's change the fuel value uh, to be less. Where is max fuel? Yeah, let's change it to two to quickly burn it down. Okay, let's let's test. Okay, rocket ejected, and here we have issue because money keeps to be added. Okay, so to fix that bug, because we are still in the loop, where is our loop here? And the same issue we will have in the fixed update. So we are in the loop, and we have value a variable in our game manager if game is post. Yeah, game post. So if let's write on the rocket controller on the controller when we send information to our game manager to add money, let's just write if game manager dot instance that game post if it's this means if game post is true but this means if game if game is post is true so yeah so we want to sorry if our game this means this without the this will means if our game is post is true but with that it means if our it means if our game post is false, so it means that our game is not post with that one. So we'll calculate the distance travel. But when we pause our game, we will stop uh, calculating our distance traveled and we'll just add money once. And same should be done for our touches input here. So let's write if game. Yeah, let's let's write the same sentence. Okay, 
So let's test again to be sure everything is working fine. Okay. Yeah, okay, we have uh, we have been traveled a few seconds after we burn uh, our fuel because our rigid body, rigid body velocity was not equal to zero. So that's how we want to our game to be working because when we still have the, some speed of the rocket, we want to be able to, to travel and avoid obstacles. Okay, so here, uh, as you can see here, this value of the money I don't like. So we, yeah that uh, numbers after decimal so let's do some update to, to money value mm. okay so first mm, i don't want so long string i could press here f and as before let's make could write f zero and it will be though it would do the job but I want to do something more this time. And what I want to do is to create, um, to round the money, because I don't want to be added, so, so like one point half dollar and one point seven dollars. I would like to add like um, full number of the dollars. So it will be more integer, not float, but let's write money to add is equal to not f. that round money like that that means if we use math f round this we means that we always use uh, that we always are using adding the full value so we'll never add like 1.2 1.3 but we'll add one dollar but if we will be like 1.6 1. we'll add two dollars okay and maybe let's add something more here and let's add like money multiplier value mm. What we will do with that, we just multiply value money to add by our, by our money bonus multiplier. Let's make it two. So we'll add two times more money than we travel. Okay, now that should fix the issue, the money. So let's maybe add more fuel or and more trust force. Let's make it 50. And let's add a few uh, five, and and let's press play. So now, now I'm flying, and as you can see here, I'm flying a while after I've burnt all the fuel, and the money is not added. Okay, yeah, and issue might be that yeah, money to add multiplier is zero. Okay. So let's test again. Let's eject our rocket. Let's fly. fly. Yeah, I'm still able to dodge everything. Eh. The game has finished. The game is paused. The money is added. The rounded value is added here. So that's perfect. So that's that's how we want to our game to be working on this stage of the tutorial. So if this will was helpful for you please don't forget to press the like button and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a nice day and thank you very much for watching bye